Good afternoon and welcome to Harlem High School, home of your Harlem Bulldogs. Today's the third round of state playoffs features the Gordon Lee Trojans out of Region 6 against your Harlem Bulldogs. The GHSAS member schools have made a commitment to promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators at all GHSA sanctioned events. Profanity, degrading remarks, and intimidating actions directed at officials, competitors, Good afternoon, and everyone. Spectators Welcome in to today's matchup in the Elite Eight as the Trojans have traveled just outside of Augusta to take on the Harlem Bulldogs. Thank you for your cooperation and the promotion of good sportsmanship at today's event. So Gordon Lee comes in with an overall record of 22 wins and nine losses. They are the two seed out of Region 6, one of the two remaining teams out of Region 6. Harlem comes in with a 30 and 1 record. As they are out of Region 4, and they are the only team standing out of that region. So we're having our meeting with the coaches and the four umpires that we will have today. So we will have the announcements of the starting lineups here shortly and the national anthem. We are slated for a two o'clock first pitch, which may be just a little bit before two. Well, I want to go ahead and give an update as Ringgold is at home today as they are hosting Columbus. And in the bottom of the fourth inning, Ringgold has a 1-0 lead in that opening game of that best of three series. So the winner of this series will move on to the final four and that will take place starting next Saturday as the bottom part of our side of the bracket has Pike County and Franklin County. They will square off in game one today. I believe that. I think that is a check the bracket here and that is a one o'clock first pitch as well. On the other side of the bracket you have the aforementioned Ringgold taking on Columbus and Oconee County taking on Savannah Christian. So, like I said, the winner of those series will advance to the semifinals. That will be a doubleheader next Saturday, similar to last round in this round, doubleheader on Saturday, and the if game will be on Monday, so we will see what the fortunes hold today is obviously we will have our hands full with Harlem coming in with a 30 and one record you win 30 out of 31 games no matter the talent that you are playing you're doing something right so the meeting has concluded and the teams are coming out looks like we are about to have the national anthem so we will take a break for the playing of the Star Spangled Banner. Will everyone please rise and move your hats for the playing of the National Anthem.
Oh, as you would expect, it has been a home game for Harlem. They have packed the stands, and the Trojans have traveled pretty well for it to be a three and a half hour trek over. have to try to figure out the starting lineup here for Harlem as there was no announcement of the starting lineups. As I can tell you that on the mound will be right-hander number one, Caden Coley. Trying to match the numbers up as they're taking their round balls here. So hopefully we can get everybody before first pitch. Stepping in to lead off for the Trojans will be the center fielder, Nate Dunphy. First pitch is a fastball outside. We are underway seven minutes early, so that is a good sign for the Travelers in Navy. Starting early. Let's get the 1-0. There's a ball hit out to right field. Right fielder comes in. Staggers just a little bit, but was able to squeeze it. Four out number one. And then the shortstop, number 24, Cade Coward. So one down, that will bring up the shortstop, Cade Callen. And it's Coley Kicks, first pitch. It is a slider on the outside corner for a cold strike. So no balls, one strike on the Trojan shortstop. Fastball fouled back, so quickly no balls, two strikes. As Coley kicks, here's the 0 2. And change up, that misses low for ball one. So here's the kick, the 1 2. And fastball, that misses high. No swing there by Cowan. So that will leave it up two balls and two strikes. There's a breaking ball, grounded out to short. Shortstop will glove. And toss across to retire Callum. So, two down. Now batting the first baseman, number 13, Blake Rogers. So, two down. That will bring up the first baseman, Blake Rogers. Kick first pitch. There's a ground ball. First baseman will backhand it and take it to the bag himself. Oh, nothing doing for the Trojans in the top of the first inning. So we will go to the bottom of the first inning. Gordon Lee, nothing, and Harlem's coming up. Wow. 
So on the bump for the Trojans, on the bump will be Bo Rudy. Oh, first pitch, that misses inside, and that, that rung the, that caught the umpire flush, so. Not the start that the home plate umpire was expecting here in the bottom of the first inning. Right, let's kick the 1 0. Is fastball and that is late foul down the right side. So that will leave it up out. One ball and one strike. Shortstop Tristan McClady. There's a change up. That was his high four ball, too. Here's a kick. That misses low four. Ball three. So three balls and one strike on the Harlem shortstop. And there's a fastball, and that ball is hit well to center field. Nate Dunphy goes back. That ball is out of here. As McClady takes a fastball and drives it over the center field fence for a leadoff home run, and that will give Harlem a one nothing lead here in the bottom of the first inning. Oh, that will bring up the left fielder, Tyler Simmons. There's a fastball. There's a peel to first. Did offer it that, so that will even it up at one ball and one strike. There's a 1-1 one, one fastball, swung on and missed. Here's the 1-2 from Rudy. There's a fastball that misses off the plate. And we're leaving the count at two balls, two strikes. And there's a fastball, and that is hit in the left field for a base hit is ball is it got to the outfield it's like it went up a ramp is there's a there's a humongous lip that is out by, between third and short that ball just 
just kangarooed right into left field. So Simmons will stand at first with nobody out. And that will bring up the third baseman, Emery Burnett. Snap through the first. Simmons is back safely. Breaking ball. That misses inside. That will bounce off of the catcher's Dockery's mitt. So Simmons will move up 90 feet on pass ball. There are the fastballs that misses up and out of the zone for ball two. So two balls and one strike on the Bulldog third baseman. There's another fastball that misses half. That will run the count to three balls and one strike. Three balls and one strike as Bo comes set. And there's a ball that is punched out to center field as Nate Dunphy will come on. And he will squeeze it for out number one. So one down, that will bring up the first baseman, Emerson Guy. One down here in the bottom of the first inning, run across for Harlem. And his first pitch he is right there on the corner for a called strike. Well, there is a ground ball to first as Blake Rogers will field it. And he will take it himself to retire guy for out number two. So two down, and that will bring up the DH, Jeremiah Hamilton. That's Harlem with a runner at third and two down. First pitch from Rudy. There's a fastball. Is that? Wait just a second. I thought that ball may have hit the bat, but the ball skilled it. So Hamilton will stand at first with two down. And that will bring up the right fielder Shane Wheelis. That's first pitch two Wheelis. That misses high for ball one. Throw over to first as Hamilton is back safely. Harlan with a golden opportunity here with one across runners on the corners with two down. As there is a swing and a miss. Or strike one is Hamilton. Took off for second, hoping to draw a throw from Dockery, but to no avail, so he will stroll into second base. So there's a fastball that is poked foul right side. So one ball and two strikes. And 
Ravens bow will come set at the belt. Well, here is the one two. There's a fastball and it's one on he missed. So nice job there by Bo to bounce back. So for Harlem in the bottom of the first one run, two hits. There were no errors and there were two base runners left. So we will go to the top of the second with Harlem one and Gordon Lee nothing. So stepping in for Gordon Lee here in the top of the second inning will be the D.H. Brody Jenner. That's Coley pitch, first pitch. Man, this is high for ball one. So one ball and no strikes on Brody. Really fastball that catches the bottom part of the strike zone for a called strike. So one ball and one strike. Fastball right on the outside corner. One ball, two strikes on Brody. So he's leading off here in the top of the second inning. Change up misses low. Now leaving it up at two balls, two strikes. As Coley kicks the 2 2 to Brody. Fastball on the outside corner. So one down. That will bring up the pitcher, Bo Rudy. First pitch to Bo. This is a fastball misses high for ball one. That's Cully kicks. Here's the one one. There's a fastball. That's off the plate. So two balls, one strike. Here's the 2 1. That misses in off the plate for ball three. Fastball, elevated fastball, swung on him, miss. Well, that will run the count full. It's Cully kicks. Here's the payoff pitch. There, the fast. Here's a kick, the payoff pitch. Fastball, it's fouled out of play. Count remain, three balls and two strikes. Coley kicks the payoff pitch. Fastball, another foul ball. Nice job there, Bob. Bo, he's battling with two out. I'm sorry, two strikes here in the top of the second inning. As Holt Roberts awaits on deck. And there's a ball laced 
into left field as that ball hits the Hot Wheels ramp and will catapult into left center field. Well, that will go as a one-out knock there for Rudy. As you would think, that as many games as they have played, they would do something and figure out how to fix that lip. That, that is terrible. Now batting the second baseman, number 21, Hulk Roberts. So, Bo will be lifted for a courtesy runner as number nine, Peyton Gross, will come on. So, he will take his lead from first base with one out. Holt Roberts steps in. First pitch to Holt is a breaking ball over for a call strike. The row to first as Gross is back. Here's kick the EO one. Fastball that catches the inside corner. So no balls and two strikes on Holt. Another throw to first is Peyton. He is back. <laughs> oh, no balls, two strikes. There is a ground ball out to second. On to short for one. The relay to first is high and cannot be squeezed by the first baseman. So, as a Taylor made double play that Harlem just could not make the turn at second base. So that will go as a fielder's choice. So that will go 4 6 2 retire gross. Holt will stand at first with two down. That will bring up the catcher, Barrett Dockery. Holt inches away at first. It's Coley kicks first pitch to Dockery. It is a fastball right there for a called strike. It's a no balls in one strike. Throw over to first. It's Holt is back standing. So no balls and one strike, two down here in the top of the second inning. Harlan with a one nothing lead. So there's a breaking ball that misses high for ball one. So one ball and one strike on Barrett. That's Coley comes set kicks. Oh, on the corner. Hey, low, let's go. Hey, swing it, kid. So one ball, two strike on Barrett. There's Coley will come set, kicks one, two. There's a fastball in the dirt, and that will bounce away from the catcher. So Holt will move up 90 feet on the wild pitch. So first scoring opportunity of the day for the Trojans. As all the outfielders looking at them before the game have pretty good arms on the right fielder Wheelis has a cannon in right field, so we will see ball hit to the outfield. What Coach Dunphy decides to do here with two down. Here's the two two. And one up matter. Slider swung on he missed. So, no runs, one hit, and one base runner left. We will go to the bottom of the second. Harlem one in, Gordon Lee nothing.
No, update from Ringgold in the bottom of the fourth inning. Ringgold has put five on the board, so they have extended their lead to six to nothing over Columbus. So the center fielder, Jake Fulmer, will step in leading off here in the bottom of the second inning. And this first pitch is a fastball, swung on and missed. There, another fastball, that's off the plate for ball one. Another fastball, that's fouled off at the plate. Oh, one ball and two strikes on Fulmer. What's that? We'll miss wide and even it up at two balls, two strikes. There's a fastball. That was poked foul off the net and then into and out of the Bulldogs dugout. Count will remain two balls, two strikes. Oh, fastball on that. This is high. That will run the count full. So three balls, two strikes on Fulmer. There is a ground ball, and that is hit. That is sports under the glove of the third baseman, Jackson Scally. So that will go as an E5, allowing Fulmer to reach. Well, that will bring up the pitcher, Caden Coley. <laughs> Throw over as Fulmer is back. First pitch is a change up. Nice pitch there by Rudy. Swung on it, missed. And come set the belt. E01. There's a breaking ball in the dirt. That blocked it nicely there by Barrett. One ball and one strike. Here's the kick. There's the ball, and that is going to drop into left field. That's going to roll to the wall. As the runner's going to turn third, he is in with a head first dive. So Coley doubles down the left field line. Fulmer will come around to score. Run number two for Harlem. So we will have a courtesy runner. So another run in for Harlem, and that will bring up the second baseman, Jackson Decker. As the air leading off has come to roost, which most of the time happens when you get deep into the playoffs. As first pitch, bunt attempt is that is fouled out of play. So no balls in one strike as Bo comes set at the belt. As there is another bunt attempt. Ball is taken low for ball one. So one ball and one strike on Decker. So he squares around again. He takes a ball low, so two balls and one strike. Bo looks in, gets his sign, comes set at the belt. 
the 2 1. It is a fastball, and that is bunted back into the screen. So, two balls and two strikes. So Bo will come set the belt. Couple looks a second. Well, it's a fastball, and it misses just a little low. So three balls and two strikes on Decker. That's Prince in the courtesy run, takes his lead. And there's a ball as hit out to second. Holt Roberts will squeeze it. And he will throw across to retire Decker for out number one. A productive out as Prince will move up 90 feet. Prince will now stand at third. He takes his lead with one down. That will bring up the shortstop Tristan McClady. As Dockery will ask for time and go out and talk some shop with Bo. As McClady got the scoring started for Harlem in the bottom of the first teams. Took a 3-1 fastball and deposited over the center field fence. So, he decide to intentionally walk McClady. Now coming to bat for home, the left fielder, number seven, Tyler Simmons. Oh, well, that will put dogs on the corners with one out. Out front to left fielder Tyler Simmons. As Simmons lined a single his first time up. First pitch it is a fastball taken over four called strike. As McClady will move up to second with stolen bases. Throw went through as Cowan darted in to cut that ball off. Case Prince broke to the plate. So, dogs at second, third with one out. Okay, fastball, and that's fouled off. So, quickly, no balls and two strikes. Home plate, umpire checks the ball, and everything checks out. So, that will go into his ball pouch. Oh, no balls and two strikes. As Bo kicks the 0-2. It is a fastball, and that is right there on the bottom part of the strike zone for a call third strike. That will retire Simmons looking for out number two. As two down, that will bring up the third baseman, Emery Burnett. As Burnett flied out to Nate his first time up. Well, that's the first pitch, misses high. Check to the first base umpire, and spreads his wings, says he did not swing, so one ball, no strikes. Right, fastball, that is pumped over for a called strike. So one ball, one strike. As Bo comes set, kicks the 1-1. One, one. There is a, there's a fastball cutter that clipped the bottom part of the strike zone. So one ball, two strikes on Burnett. As Bo will come set, kicks the one two. That ball is hit out to right field as Cooper Jackson will retreat and squeeze it. Nice job there by Cooper. And nice job by Bo to bounce back. So for Harlem, one run, one hit, one error, two base runners left. So we go to the top of the third inning. Harlem two and Gordon Lee nothing.
So stepping in to lead off the top of the third four, Gordon Lee will be the third baseman, Jackson Scally. So do up for the Trojans here in the top of the third will be the eight, nine, and one hitters. As first pitch is a breaking ball as Scally lines down the right side and will rattle around. Oh, well, 01 is a fastball over for a call strike, so quickly, no balls and two strikes on Jackson. And fastball fouled out of play. Want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Keller Williams, Reliance, Mr. Ronald Branson, Lisa's Golden Diamonds, and Mr. Wade Bradley at container. To the 02. Change up Mrs. Lowe. Also, like to say thank you to the village. Wise, Angel Fowler Realty, and Teams and Teams. Here's the 1-2 to Scally. There's a base hit up the middle. Come bounce right past the pitcher's outstretched glove. So, good start for Gordon Lee here in the top of the third inning. It's Jackson Scally. will collect hit number two. Oh, so leadoff single for Jackson. And that will bring up the Gordon Lee glider, Mr. Cooper Jackson. Yeah, snap throw first at Scally is back safely. As Coley comes set. And there is a bunt by Jackson. Oh, nice job there by Coley to filled his position. Nice sacrifice bunt there by Mr. Cooper Jackson. So that will go 1-3 on the sack bunt. So that will flip the lineup. As Nate will step in. As Nate flied out to the right fielder in his first plate appearance. As Coley kicks first pitch. Oh, that ball is hit well down the right field line. That ball is, oh, just foul. That ball oh, hooked just, just to the right the last minute. That fence had been about 315. We may have been business. And Nate flirting with one down the right field line. Held its line until it got out there. And then it's like Mother Nature just took a big puff of wind and just blew it to the wrong side of the chalk. So, just a long strike. So, no balls and one strike on Nate. Uh, that gives Nate a little bit more of a gap in right center now. Nice. Pick it second. Scally beats the throw to second. So, nothing else. Let's move the right fielder over a step or two. So, See if Nate can take advantage of that and find the gap in right center field. Here's the kick. The one up. That ball is that ball's hit well. Center field is going to retreat. And he is going to reach up. And snag it. So nice, nice job there by the center fielder. As going back through his glove up, as Nate barreled it up just a. Nice play there by the center fielder. As they appealed to second. It's Scally. And it was close, but Scally did tag up. So that is a productive out as Scally will move up 90 feet. That will bring up the shortstop, Cade Cowan. As Cade grounded out too short his first time up. For another grounder to short. Shortstop will fire across. Two, retire Cowan. Four out, number three. Oh, the scoring opportunity goes by the boards for the Trojans, and no runs, one hit, one base runner left. 
We go to the bottom of the third. Score remains two, nothing, Harlem. Say thank you to some more of our sponsors, TAS Equipment, North Georgia Heavy Equipment, L.E. Myers, Stock, Global, Weems, PDP, Mike and D. Potter, Eldridge Heat and Air, Legacy Turf, Mr. Colby Wood, Wilson Funeral Home, and Mr. Jeff Beagles at Choo Choo Barbecue in Chickamauga. So, Emerson Guy will step in, leading off here in the bottom of the third inning. First pitch from Bo is a breaking ball over for a call strike. I think that may be the first first breaking ball that Bo's thrown today. And he doubled up as that one misses in off the plate. That's Guy. There's a fastball tapped foul first base side. Guys, 0 for 1 as he grounded out to first base in his first plate appearance. As Bo kicks the 1 2. As there's a fastball. Can, that's low. Can't be squeezed there by Dockery. So two balls and two strikes. There's a fastball as foul tipped and hung on to by Barrett. So that will retire guy for out number one. So one down, that will bring up the DH, Jeremiah Hamilton. He was hit by a pitch his first time up. Yeah, this first pitch is a fastball right there for a called strike. So no balls and one strike. And there's another fastball. Yes. I think Hamilton was asking the home plate umpire if that was on the swing or if that was a called strike. So no balls, two strikes. There's a fastball, and that is flailed on and missed. Or strike three. So quickly, two up, two down. Shane Willis. Well, that will bring up the right fielder, Shane Wheelis. As Wheelis struck out his first plate appearance. Fastball is that. Misses outside for ball two. So two balls and no strikes on Wheelis. That misses up and in for ball three. So three balls, no strikes on the Bulldogs right fielder. There's a fastball right there over the heart of the plate for a call strike. So three balls, one strike. There is a tapper to third. Scally will field. And he will gun it across. Two retire wheels. Four out. Number three. So nothing across for Harlem in the bottom of the third. So we will go to the top of the fourth. Score remains. Two nothing Harlem.
The lead off of Gordon Lee, the top of the fourth. The first baseman, number 13, Blake Rogers. So we go to the top of the fourth inning. We are zipping right along. We have been playing about 45 minutes for the first three innings. Fortunately, the good guys are on the wrong side of a 2 nothing score. But due up here in the top of the fourth will be the three, four, five hitters. So Blake Rogers will start it off. And first pitch will miss outside for ball one. It's Rogers grounded out to first in his first at bat. As Coley kicks, here's the 1 0. So there is a change up. As that nips the outside corner for a called strike. So that will even it up at one ball and one strike. Here's a kick, the 1 1. Fastball. It catches the corner. Go, Blake, go, not sure that Blake agreed with that, but one ball and two strikes. There is a change up, but it's lined up the middle for a base hit. So a good start for the Trojans here in the bot or I'm sorry, the top of the fourth inning. So that leadoff single. Now all of a sudden you got the tying run at the plate. So Rogers continues hot stick here in the postseason. That will bring up his brother from another mother, Brody Jenner. First pitch to Brody. It is a fly ball hit out to right field. Right fielder Wheelis will retreat. And he will squeeze it for out number one. So one out. As final from Ringgold. As Ringgold take care of Columbus in game one, six to nothing. Well, they lead that best of three, one nothing. As Bo Rudy steps in, first pitch is fastball. That misses low for ball one. As Bo has got the power, he could deposit one out of here quickly. Here's the 1 0. That misses low and in for ball two. So two balls and no strike on Bo. Here's the kick, the 2-0. There's a fastball. That is fouled off right side. As it is pretty much standing room only here on Harlem side. As some Harlem fans have spilled over on the Trojan side, so. Here's the kick, 2-1. There is grounded out to short. On to second for one. The relay to first. It's not in time. It's Rudy. He'll leg that out and stay out of double play. So that will go as a 6-4 fielder's choice to retire Rogers. And Rudy will give away for courtesy runners, Peyton Gross. Will come on. So two down. As that will bring up Holt Roberts. It's Holt grounded into a fielder's choice. His first time up. First pitch to Holt misses low for ball one. It's Coley will come set and step off and. Ask this catcher to go back through the signs. So now Holt will ask for time. So Holt's got his instructions from Coach Dunphy. As he will step in with a one ball, no strike count. He's looking to keep the line moving here. There is a slider. That's that misses off the plate. Four ball two. So two balls, no strikes. 
Fastball fouled off right side. So two balls and one strike. As we are here in game one of this best of three series, game two will be about 30 minutes after the conclusion of game one. There's a breaking ball. That's over for a call strikes. So two balls, two strikes. As hit columns are even at three, but the one that matters, run call. Harlem's got a pair. And the Trojans have yet to dot the scoreboard. So two balls and two strikes as the runner's off on the pitch. There's the fast ball as that's laced foul left side. Nice. Gross will retreat to first base with a two ball, two strike count. As Mr. Coley will come set. Tosses over to first as Peyton is back. As Coach Dunphy goes through his signs at third base. As Gross will inch away. There's another throw to first. So two balls and two strikes on Holt. As that ball is hit into the left center field, that is going to fall in for a base hit. So nice job by Holt to battle, 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 and get a pitch he could lace into center field for a base hit. So that will put good guys at first and second with two down. That will bring up the catcher, Barrett Dockery. As the catcher, Purdue, will go out and have a quick word hey, with his right pitcher. Let's go get Barrett will step in. Barrett, Robert, let's go not, Robert. not only for the team, but for his well-being, needs a good at bat here. He's, just, he's battling a little bit. First pitch, that misses up for ball one. Is where it's, you know, this game is all mental, and he's he's fighting the mental aspect a little bit here. So, let's see, there's the 1-0. Oh, there's the ball hit well down the left side, but out of play. Man, that's the thing with Barrett. He's got the power to jack one out of here. So, parents bystanders here in the stands talking to Barrett trying to pump him up, give him some words of encouragement. As Coley kicks 1-1. There's a breaking ball as that misses outside for a ball too. And anybody that's been around the game of baseball, a lot of times all it takes is just one ball to fall in and all of a sudden you feel like a million dollars. That may be all that Barrett needs here. There's uh, here's a little trickery there as Coley gives the dead leg. Gross is able to make it back without a throw. So Trojans at first and second, two down. Two balls, one strike on Barrett. There's a fastball. That is fouled back and out of play. So two balls and two strikes on the Gordon Lee catcher here in the top of the fourth inning. As Coley will come set. Here is the 2-2 to Barrett. Fastball, it's fouled back. So 
So the count will remain two balls, two strikes. As Jackson Scally awaits on deck. As looks like we're all have some. Oh, maybe not. So two, two. It's a breaking ball. That's popped up on the infield. As the third baseman Burnett will come in and squeeze it for out number three. So no runs, two hits, and two base runners left. So we will move to the bottom of the fourth inning. Score remains Harlem two and Gordon Lee nothing. So leading off here in the bottom of the fourth inning for Harlem will be the center fielder, Jake Fulmer. As Fulmer steps in as he reached on an error in his first at-bat. So first pitch from Bo to start the bottom of the fourth, misses low. Next pitch is wide as well, so two balls, no strikes. As there is a ball cued off the end of the bat, fielded by Rogers. Toss to Bo Rudy as Bo did his job, getting off the mound covering first. So that will go as a 3-1 put out. Be honest, I'm surprised that pirate's not checking the ball the way that ball came off the bat. So, Cade and Cole, the pitcher, will step in. He doubled in his first plate appearance as he drove in the second run for Harlem. Fast ball that's just off the plate for ball two. There's a fast ball that misses wide for ball three. As Bo takes a deep breath, kicks three one. It is a fast ball that catches the corner. So that will run it full. So three balls, two strikes, one out in the bottom of the fourth inning. As there is a fastball, and that's just low four ball four. So, Prince will come into courtesy run with one down. That will bring up second baseman Jack Decker. But before Decker steps in, pitching coach Thomas Gray will go out to the mound. 
And while we have a moment, I want to remind everyone is on May 22nd at Dalton Golf and Country Club, the Trojan Club will host the first annual Rick Wilson Golf Tournament. You can get any information that you need on the Trojan Club Facebook page, or you can reach out to Jeff Beagles. As I know, there was a wait list for any teams that was interested in participating in that. So if that's something that strikes your interest, you need to get on that quickly and see if there's room for you. So a meeting of the minds has completed as Bo will come set at the belt. First pitch. Yeah, it's a fastball right there for a cold strike. It's, I think Coach Gray had a little parting word for the home plate up higher on that ball four. Right, there's a swing and a miss so quickly. No balls, two strikes on Decker. As Bo comes set at the belt, the 0 2. It is a fastball right there taken for a call, third strike. It's that actually looked like a worse pitch than what the pitcher Coley walked on. So maybe that was a makeup. So two down. That will bring up the shortstop, Tristan McClady. It's McClady has homeward to center and has been intentionally walked. Well, first pitch by Bo is a breaking ball. Is that breaks in and that will hit McClady in the foot is some scattered booze there is down two to nothing so there is no intent there to hit a batter in that situation As Bo tapped his chest said you know my bad it happens so McClady will now he will Walk it off. That could not have felt good. All three plate appearances. That will move the courtesy runner Prince to second base. That will bring up the left fielder, Tyler Simmons. But Simmons is one for two. That's first pitch is a fastball. Swung on and missed. Bo, nod just to his sign, comes set the belt, kicks the 0 1. His fastball is that misses low. So that will even it up at one ball and one strike. Well, there is a ball queued out to second as Holt Roberts will you know, range, he will range to his left but cannot corral it. So that will go as an E4. So Harlem with the bases loaded two down on a walk, hit by pitch, and an E4. So this could be a pivotal part in the game here is there is a ground ball oh Holt Roberts lays out and what a play as Holt definitely made up as he lays out throws on to first and that will retire the side nice job there by Holt so no runs no hits there was one error three base runners left so we will go to the top of the fifth inning your score remains harlem two and gordon lee nothing
So stepping in to lead off here in the top of the fifth floor, Gordon Lee will be the third baseman, Jackson Scally. Scally with a single on his first plate appearance. Lead off of Gordon Lee in the top of the fifth. Third baseman, number three, Jackson Scaley. Yes. Right here, Scaley. Yes, Bulldogs have some action in their bullpen down the right side. So, 8 9 1 do up here for the Trojans. Hopefully, more than that. First pitch, grounded out to second. A nice play there by the second baseman moving to his left to gobble it up. As he will toss over to first for out number one. So one down, that'll bring up the right fielder, Cooper Jackson. Let's go Cooper five. laid down a successful sacrifice bunt his first time. As the 0 1 misses wide. So one ball, one strike. Yeah. That breaking ball swung on and missed. So one ball and two strikes on Cooper. Right. Change up. That misses outside for ball two. So two balls and two strikes. It's Coley. Gets the sign he likes. Kicks. 2-2. Two, two. It is a fastball. That catches the inside corner. Four call third strike. So two down. Now we'll bring up Nate. As Nate takes first pitch low for ball one. As Nate is 0 for 2. Fly out to right and they fly out to center. Breaking ball snaps over. So one ball, one strike. That's Nate. Drives one to center field. The center fielder will retreat. And he will squeeze it for out number three. So, nothing doing on a quick nine pitch inning for Coley. So, we will go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Score remains two, nothing Harlem. So leading off here in the bottom of the fifth for Harlem will be the first baseman Emerson Guy. Leading off for Harlem in the bottom of the fifth, the first, the first baseman number three, Emerson Guy. Leading off for Harlem in the bottom of the fifth, the first baseman number three, Emerson Guy. Guy has grounded out and struck out. As first pitch is a breaking ball is. Like Mr. Guy had his mind made up. He was swinging as soon as that ball came out. And it was like a... Mm. So, no balls and one strike. 
as Bo doubles up on the break ball. This one misses inside for ball one. As Bo kicks the 1-1. One, one. As it catches the inside corner. So one ball and two strikes on Guy. As Bo kicks the 1-2. There is a ball hit to Blake Rogers. As Rogers going to his right, Will Fields. And like last inning, we'll toss over to Bo Rudy. DH number 24, Jerry Hamilton. So kudos to Bo as a lot of times pitchers can be caught watching that play. Good job there to retire guy four out number one. So that will bring up the DH, Jeremiah Hamilton. That's Hamilton. That struck out and was hit by a pitch his first at bat. There is a ball laced out for right field. But Cooper Jackson will retreat. And he will squeeze it for out number two. So two down. That will bring up the right fielder, Shane Wheelis. That's Wheelis. Has struck out and grounded out. First pitch from Bo, this is high for ball one. Yes, here's a repeat, so ball two, two balls and no strikes. Observe, like Bo took a little off that fastball, that catches the upper part of the strike zone for strike one. Fastball misses somewhere. Now, it had to be outside. There's no way that ball could have been high. I'm not sure it was outside. Uh, fastball, since foul back, nice hack there by Wheelis. Is, comes out of the box shaking his head. He realized he got a pitch there to hit and just missed it. So, three balls and two strikes. Fastball, foul right side. Let's go. kicks, three, two. And there's a ball skied in two. Right or left center field is Nate Dunphy will glide over. And he will squeeze it for out number three. As Wheelis just missed barreling that ball up, getting it out to left center field. Oh, for Harlem in the bottom of the fifth, nothing doing. So we will move to the sixth. Score remains 2 0 Harlem. So, starting off the top of the sixth inning will be the shortstop, Cade Cowan. Lead off of Gordon Lee, the top of the sixth, the shortstop, number 24, Cade Cowan. So, two, three, four, do up for the Trojans here in the top of the sixth. As outs are starting to dwindle away here in game number one. As Cowan is 0 for 2, first pitch misses high. That's Trojans looking to dent the scoreboard here in the top of the sixth. 
as, as breaking balls to the bewilderment of everybody in attendance. That pitch was called a ball, so I'm guessing that was inside, maybe. There's a change up. That misses low, so ball three. Oh, not a lot of offense in this game. Luckily, Trojans can. That's there. There's a fastball. That misses high, I guess. Oh, Lord, help. If I'm Mr. Coley, I'm going to take a stroll and try to figure out where in the world those balls are missing. So, Cowan will reach with a leadoff four pitch walk as the legendary coach here for Harlem. I'm not sure. Uh, coach Lewis has been around for a long time. He's got 800 wins. So he is going to come out. He is going to take the ball from Mr. Coley. So Coley will exit as he will go I think he's going to right field. Oh, coming on the pitch will be right-handed side armor, Mason Crozier. As Mr. Coley will go to right field. As the right fielder Wheelis will come off the field. And I'm imagining that he might be the closer for Harlem, at least based on watching the pregame, but it could be wrong. So, Tyne Run will step in the batter's box for the Trojans. As Crozier will finish his warm-ups as he is a... He drops down three quarters, which should benefit Rogers here. Is give him a little bit longer to see the ball. So a good start for the Trojans as Cade Cowan. As Making some lineup changes here, as I don't think Mr. Wheelis did come out of the ball game. So Crozier will get his sign. So he kicks first pitch to Rogers. It is a fastball over for a cold strike. So no balls and one strike on Rogers. Crozier comes set, kicks the hill one. So that misses wide. Aves it up one ball, one strike. Throw over to first as Cowan is back. So Cowan with a leadoff walk to start the sixth inning. Blake Rogers will step back in with a one ball, one strike count. There is a breaking ball. That misses outside. So two balls and one strike on the Trojan first baseman. That's Crozier. Kicks. Right. Fastball. Nice hack there by Rogers. Fouls it back. So two balls and two strikes. Let's see if Rogers can get one to his liking here and barrel it up and deposit it over the fence. Make my blood pressure go up a little bit. You kick two, two. Fastball. That's off the plate. Four ball three. So three balls and two strikes on Blake. So he'll dig back in. Crozier looks in, gets a sign he likes, kicks the nope, throw over to first. 
as Cowan is back safely. That's Crozier. Come set. Here's the payoff pitch. There's a fastball, and that is foul tipped into the catcher's mitt. So Rogers is retired for out number one. So that will bring up the DH Brody Jenner. As Brody is 0 for 2. Next Crozier comes set. First pitch to Brody. It is a fastball. Poured over for a call strike. So no balls, one strike on Brody. There's a fastball. That is popped right side. As first baseman will come over, he will squeeze it. So two down, that will bring up the pitcher, Bo Rudy. So two down, Bo will step in. He is one for two. First pitch to Bo is a fastball, misses inside for ball one. Two down here in the top of the sixth inning. Trojans on the wrong end of a two nothing lead. There is a throw to first. That ball is going to get by the first baseman. That's Cowan. That's ball roll into the hitting facility down the right field line. So Cowan will now stand at third. So that will go as an E1. So Cowan goes first to third. There's a 1-0 fastball off the plate. So two balls and no strikes. So it's, a, it's a big run at third. Trojans need to get that run across. Inch a little bit closer going to the bottom of the sixth inning. So three balls and no strikes on Bo. There's a ball in the dirt as Kay Cowan will streak home with run number one. So a nice job there by Cowan's ball kicks away and he was off. So that will be ball four. Cade will score on a wild pitch for run number one. So Bo will give way as. Peyton Gross will come on the courtesy run. So, I think that wild pitch may have caught the catcher off guard because I was not expecting Cade to bolt for the plate there. So, Trojans have dotted the board. They'll trail two to one with two down. So, that will bring up Holt. As he is one for two. First pitch to Holt. He is a breaking ball. Misses wide for ball one. Oh. 
Crozier comes set. Fastball. That's fouled out of play. So one ball and one strike. That's Crozier. Kicks the 1-1. One, one. There's a breaking ball over for a call strike. So that will run the count for one ball and two strikes. Gross with good speed at first. Let's see if Holt can find a gap somewhere here. As Mason, Mason Crozier will come set. There's a breaking ball. That misses low. So that will even the count at two balls and two strikes. That's Crozier will come set. Kick 2-2. Two, two. That's a ball low. There's a throw to second base. And he is in. Nice job there by Peyton Gross. Bang, bang, play at second. Second base not power right there. Threw his arms out. So that will put Peyton in scoring position with two down. That was a nice one hot throw there by the catcher. Purdue to no avail as Gross was able to just slide in. And to be honest with you, if that probably would have called him out, I would not have been surprised. That was a bang bang play, but obviously he's much closer to that play than I am. So now the tying run stands at second base. As Holt will step back in with a three ball, two strike count. As a breaking ball is. Not sure how Holt made contact with that ball. It looked like it was going to bounce to the catcher. So, Holt will live to see another pitch. So, three balls, two strikes. As Holt, at this point, bottom of the line, is looking to pass the baton, get closer to the top of the lineup. As Crozier kicks, 3 2. Fastball fouled off. As Holt will dig back in, as Crozier comes set at the belt. Kicks 3-2. There's a ball just foul. That ball is just wide of the bag at third. As Holt got a breaking ball just a little out in front of it. So Crozier will come set the 3 2. Is a fastball. And it's taken for a call third strike. So for Gordon Lee in the top of the six, one run, no hit. There was one error and there was one base runner left. So we will go to the bottom half of the sixth inning with your score Harlem 2 and Gordon Lee 1.
So leading off the bottom of the sixth for Harlan will be the right fielder. Right fielder Jake Fulmer as he steps in. He is 0 for 2. Well, first pitch. So that misses high, I guess, for ball one. That was a very similar pitch that home plate umpire punched hold out on the end of the top of the sixth inning. Fastball that misses wide for ball three is all of a sudden this home plate umpire strike zones starting to jump all over the place. It's been pretty consistent throughout the ball game, but now it's starting to starting to get just a little tight here in the latter innings of this ball game. There's a ground ball out to short as K Cowan will field and throw across. Two, retire former four out number one. So it will bring up the center fielder now. Was the starting pitcher Caden Cole? I just figured out that I've been mispronouncing his name the whole ball game. It's Cole, not Coley. So my apologies. So one ball and one strike. Yeah. There's a fastball on the corner for a called strike. One, two. Fastball misses wide. There's a fastball. That misses wide. A check to first, and there was no swing. So three balls and two strikes. Yeah. There is, looks like Bo may have taken a little bit off that from swing and a miss. So two down, that will bring up the second baseman, Jack Decker. That's Decker. He is 0 for 2. First pitch from Bo is over for a called strike. And there is a ball hit in the center field. So Decker will collect his first hit of the game. So Decker will stand at first with two down. That will grant the shortstop Tristan McClady. That's McClady has been up three times. And he has reached all three times. First at bat launched a ball over the center field fence. And then second bat intentionally walked in, was hit by a pitch, his last at bat. First pitch is a fastball. Poured over for a called strike. As Decker will now stand at second after a stolen base. So, with that stolen base, they will intentionally walk McClady again. So, McClady will now stand at first base. Decker is second with two down. So that will bring up the left fielder Tyler Simmons. As Simmons is one for three. Now this first pitch from Bo is over for a called strike. Fastball. Up and out of the zone for ball one. The bow will get a look at second as 
Simmons will ask for Tom. Bo shakes no, then gets a signy locks. It comes set at the belt. The 1-1. One, one. It is a fastball right on the bottom part of the strike zone. As, again, is that it's a, it's a pitcher's pitch, but I'm not sure that's a strike. It has not been a consistent strike through the day. That's a 1-2. It is fouled off as both runners were off on the pitch. That's a huge insurance run standing at second base. For Harlem, as Bo will come set at the belt. Kicks the pitch is a fastball fouled off. As Bo nods, yes. He will come set at the belt. Kicks. There, it's a breaking ball. Is that misses low? That will leaving it up at two balls, two strikes. I was not sure if the Trojans have a pick play to second, but with the lead that Decker's getting second, this may not be a bad time to try a pick here. It's Bo kicks. The runners are off. There is a ball tapped third base side and foul. It's Scally able to glove it to the left of the bag. So, do it again. Two balls and two strikes. As Simmons chokes up a couple inches on the bat. Kicks the 2-2. Two -two. Is a fastball foul tip into the mitt. Four out, number three. So, no runs, one hit, and two base runners left. So, we go to the top of the seventh inning. Your score remains Harlem two and Gordon Lee one. So we move to the top of the seventh inning, and the math is simple. Trojans need to push at least one across. So leading off here in the top of the seventh inning will be Garrett Ross, as Ross is going to come on to pinch hit for Barrett as Mason Crozier is back out for his second inning of work. I'll do up for the Trojans seven, eight, and nine. So they are looking to put at least one or more on base and turn the lineup over. Oh, there's a fastball that's fouled off the right side. So no balls and two strikes on Garrett. Hey, line drive, come right here for five line drive. That's Crozier. 
kicks the O2. He is. Swung on, he missed. Thought it may have been a foul tip. But, no luck. So, one down. That will bring up the third baseman, Jackson Scally. Scally is one for two. Well, that's first pitch from Crozier is wide for ball one. That's Crozier picks the one oh. Hey, this is a fastball. Catches the corner. So one ball and one strike on Jackson. There's a ball. It is in the right field. That is going to fall in. As Scally is there's a misplay out in right field. And Scally will move up to second base. As ball just. Bounced by the right fielder, so that will go as a single for Scally. And he will move up to second on an E9. So Scally coming through with a clutch one out knock there, his second hit of the day. So now the tying run stands at second base. And that will bring up the Gordon Lee glider, Cooper Jackson. As Cooper steps in. He is 0 for 1. And his first pitch to Cooper is wide for ball 1. As Crozier kicks the 1-0. It is low for ball two. So, let's see what Coach Dunphy has in store right here. I would be tempted to give Cooper a take sign here to see if Crozier can throw a strike. As shortstop McClady flashes in. No attempt there by Crozier. So two balls, no strikes. On Cooper. There's a fastball that misses up for ball three. So Cooper will dig back in. Guarantee there's a take sign here. Crozier picks. There is. Hey, fastball, that misses low for ball four. So that will put Trojans at first and second with one down. And the legendary Coach Brooks is going to come out, and he is going to make a pitching change as coming on will be the first baseman. Emerson guy. As we will see who is going to go in at first base. As I don't know anything about Coach Brooks, but I'm going to tell you right now, anybody that's been around long enough to get 800 wins obviously knows what he's doing. So, Checking in at first base will be number 17, which, no, oh, I'm sorry, number 12. I'll say it's good because I don't have a 17. So, saw the YouTube video that somebody shot here of the final out of the 800th win and Pretty cool. They had fireworks shooting off on them out behind the center field fence. So, 800 wins. 
Well, that's a lot. He might know Coach Billy Womack. That would be a entry, I'm sure, in his many, many years here at Kicks. There is a pick to first. So 3-0 and on Rogers. Guy kicks. There's a fastball. That's over. So for three balls and one strike. There's a three one. Fastball that's fouled back. May has chased ball four there. So we're right back at it here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. As the bases are loaded. As here's the three two. There's a ball sky left side. And the left fielder will squeeze it. Four out, number three. Trojans in the runners left. So that will put a wrap on game one as the Trojans fall two to one. As the winning pitcher will be Cole. Bo Rudy will be saddled with the loss. And Emerson Guy will record the save. So your final line score. Four Gordon Lee, one run, five hits. There were two errors. Harlem, two runs, four hits, and two errors. So, game one goes to Harlem. And game two will start in about 30 minutes. So, we will.